It's the beginning of a new month, so let's run through the September releases for the Bandai Tomashii Nation's SE Figure Arts line, as the full power freezer will be the Dragon Ball Z release of the month. The perfect one to go with the legendary Super Saiyan Goku, which of course resembles and you can recreate that final battle in that saga. As you can see for freezer, we have the tail chopped off, the death sources, all those expressions as well to recreate all those moments, and it's probably the final freezer you need to complete your collection. As a bonus, a beaten Goku face ups is included which also captures the lightness. A new Vegeta Super Saiyan God Unwavering Saiyan Pride will also be the next one to join the Dragon Ball Super line. So this is kind of a new color version which seems to do things slightly different to any of the previous Vegetas in terms of the paint, the hairstyle, the face expressions all look slightly different and updated so it's another one to look out for especially if you missed out on any of the previous god vegetas for the one piece romance dawn we now have our second character lined up with nami so this is the classic colorful look of her main attire the staff included as the weapon so everything we expected of the character we have the cheerful face and the angry expressions for all those range of poses and as a bonus we have the treasure chest included which also opens up and shows all the gold also the very animated face sculpts like it's jumped straight from the anime is included not just for Nami but for the Luffy character as well. A new line is arriving this month for the SE Figuras with Yusuke Uremeshi from the classic anime Yu Yu Hakusho, so the spirit detective from the dark martial arts arc. And this is capable of all the poses we see with the character with the energy bombs created on a stand as well as the hand. As for the accessories, we have the different hairstyle included as well, as well as the blueberry poo as the extra bonus. The Berserk line is returning with the young weight Shirko, which is part of Guts's traveling party. So standard attire consists of the purple hat, the robe, which also has a nice blend of soft materials included. It also has the staff for her to perform the magical spells, and they also have some very cool hands for all the poses and some closed eyes expressions. There's also the extra side characters included, as well as one that looks to be another form of Shirka to pair up with the Guts figure. We also have the continuation of the Demon Slayer line with Jiu Tomioko, the skilled swordsman, which is modelled after Tanjiro, just the way it looks overall, as well as the way it poses. We also have the sword, a different face expression, as expected and this line is on its way to building a nice collection. Another line to machinations began previously was the Rurouni Kenshin series. This time we have Hajime Saito, the long term rival or later alliance of Hiruma. And this looks to be a very well sculpted figure with a slick black costume as well as the sword creating those dynamic poses. And of course it is perfect next to the recent Hiruma Kenshin figure. Next up we have Paimon from Genshin Impact which is the NBC player based on the game. This includes many face expressions paired up with the long sleeves, the cape, a stand and this one's solely for the fans of that character in the game. The Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse line continues as a new colour edition for Miles Morales will be arriving, dubbed as the Rooftop Edition, and this time it will have the different effects on the suit, like he's jumping from universe to universe. We also have some new face sculpts for the unmasked look, as well as the masked look, as well as some accessories we never saw previously. And it's the same for Spider-Gwen, we have the store-exclusive Gwen Stacy with a shinier look to the suit. The unmasked head sculpt looks just to be as good as the first one, very similar, but this time we have the upside-down version as the bonus. And like Miles, we have a colourful stand for Gwen as it is an exclusive. And now let's get into the Kamen Rider line for the month. We have the Kamen Rider Brave Quest, the Gamer Level Heiser Generations Edition. So this will be from the Kamen Rider X8 line. This looks to be a very unique one with the gamepad on the chest plate, the colours really pop and some interesting things going around with the belt area as well as the weapons. And this looks to be one of the many in a whole set. We also have the Kamen Rider Mac Heiser Generations Edition from the Kamen Rider Driveline, which also seems to be from the same universe as the previous one, and this is also coming this month. Which brings me on to the third Kamen Rider with Kamen Rider Spectre Heiser Generations Edition with Kamen Rider Ghost, which of course includes all the weapon parts as well as the set. There is also the Kamen Rider Baron Banana Arms, the Knight of Spear, and this is from the Kamen Rider Gameu, which of course is a line we've seen previously. And the Kamen Rider Majade Sun Unicorn is shown to be under the Kamen Rider Gachard line, pairing up with some of the other ones in the line. And finally for the Kamen Rider line, we have Kamen Rider Buffer Fever Zombie Form from Kamen Rider Jeets. 
And we also have a vehicle this month with the Kamen Rider 555 with the Auto Virgin, and this includes the briefcase which can be attached to the bike and of course paired up with one of the characters. And to round it off here are the Ultramans we are seeing very soon. We have the Beta Spark Armor as well as the Hybrid Armor Options Part Set for the Ultraman series where this has a range of weapon accessories and this is great to place alongside some of the previous Ultramans. We also have the Evil Tiger from the Ultraman Tiger line which models after every Ultraman we have seen previously with the blast effect included and of course it pairs up well with the other Ultramans. And we also have the Ultraman Arc, the Ultraman Arc Series Edition. This includes the usual hands but this time we have the sword to make this a very unique one and of course to create those dynamic poses. And also a best selection for the Ultraman is included as a store exclusive and this is what's expected by Bandai where lines will have re-releases of some of the most popular characters. So that is all the SE Figurance releases this month in September. Which one are you most excited for? You can comment down below and of course stay tuned for more related to the Tomorrow Nations line. Thanks for watching and hope to see you very soon.